All right. How is everybody? Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening to some. This is Johnny B. And today we're going to talk about what's going on from from the Mueller investigation on forward. All right. <clears throat> the Democrats are trying to double down. It's going to cost it's going to cost them. All right. And part of the reason that the Democrats have to double down, down is called Saul Alinskyism. You never, ever, ever give in, ever. Even when you know you're wrong and you know you're, you just, you. The problem is, it's just going to bury them further and further into this uh, abyss, so to speak. Um, Democrats who haven't been subverted into Marxism are waking up. People are waking up to realize that this whole uh, collusion, delusion, is exactly that. Nothing more than a delusion. And what we're starting to find out is Trump is a lot smarter than even some of the smartest people that we see that are uh, pundits and, uh, um, and political analysts and politicians. They all wanted him to release the reports early and uh, release the FISA reports early and everything, and he wouldn't do it. And by advice from his counsel, he did not do that because he said that uh, they, they said to him, they may misconstrue that as collusion. So he, he waited and just waited until it was all over. Now, it is typical of Trump to kind of hold his ace cards. That's just kind of who he is. He holds his ace cards. And uh, unless he has to use them. Now he's going to use it. So in other words, uh, what we see are Democrats and, and the neocon and rhino Republicans mainly the rhino re, uh, neocon Republicans saying, let's just forgive and forget. No, 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 no. We can never forgive and forget. How can we heal this country? And by the way, heal this world unless we absolutely get to the bottom of this. Because if we don't, it will happen again. So what has to happen is the most catastrophic um, conclusion of all time. So that this can never happen again to our country. We have to have arrests for treason, uh, people sentenced, uh, life imprisonment, people sentenced to death, so that it is a lesson learned that treason is not good. <laughs> that there's only one way out with treason, and that's in a, in a body bag. And the Democrats are going to start panicking. Okay. One of the things that the media is still trying to push is that AG was in the bag of Donald Trump because he selected him. Well, to all those dumb idiots out there, every single president selects their own AG. And he wrote that article long before Trump was even interviewing him. Okay. He said that the whole investigation was complete and utter bullshit. All right. And it was. And by the way, it was not only Attorney General um, Barr, but it was also Deputy Attorney General. That's very important, by the way. Rosenstein. That concluded together there was no collusion. There was no uh, obstruction of justice. Nothing. Okay. Or, so, no obstruction, and then the collusion part, Mueller had to defer for the decision to his boss, Barr and Rosenstein, and they concluded there was no collusion. You can hear, you can hear it, and the, the in the manner that Trump is speaking, he's going to go after him. In other words, it was, you attacked me, 
You attacked my family. You attacked innocent people. Now it's my turn. And that's exactly what's going to happen. You can see it. Um, the, the tide is going to turn. And you're going to... And you're going to see that the tide will turn. Okay? And... Uh, there's going to be a rest up and down, inside and out, and they will start turning on each other. Because what do rats do? Rats always turn on each other. They always do. It's just what they do. Okay? They told me this. In fact, Clapper will probably be one of the first ones to try to, to do it because he's already doing it. He's already telling people, it wasn't my idea, it was Obama's idea. Okay. I believe one of the one of the first arrests is going to be John Brennan. Okay. Um, John Brennan was the person that pushed the whole dossier to go through, even though they knew it was fake. Um, I also believe that uh, Comey will be arrested. And uh, you're going to start seeing that. You're going to see people like uh, McCabe um, and, uh, yeah, you're going to see people like McCabe, like Clapper, that are going to rat people out in order to make sure that they don't sink to the bottom. Um, but it's eventually going to go all the way to the top, to Obama and Hillary Clinton. It eventually will. And it's not going to take long. Okay, this this year will be the last year that you will see any push towards socialism. Okay, the destruction of the um, and the the manhandling of the Democratic Party to extreme far leftism will be the end. Where this is going to be good is that it's also going to. Uh, help the rest of the world that's actually going towards populist votes. Because as America goes, so does the rest of the world. Okay? And you are going to see it. And uh, everyone's going to oust this cultural Marxist leftism out of their country eventually. And uh, I predicted there would be five civil wars this year. I may have to revise that into something else. Um, I have to, to look at how the, the political uh, fever is turning and to, to see if that's still going to happen. The reason I said that is because I knew that March 30th was the last date for Brexit. They've already, they've already ma just mangled Brexit. You're going to have, um, you've already had Brexiteers uh, marching on the streets with uh, yellow vests already. And uh, you're going to see, I believe, some type of um, uprising in, in England. It's already happening in France, uh, 19 straight weeks. This will be the 20th straight week that they uh, have uprising with the yellow vests in uh, France. Uh, but I, like I said, uh, that uprising has is left versus left now. Uh, the the people on the right have pretty much left it. It's it's all the Che Guevara fans and the the Lenin fans, it's, uh, the Sickle and Hammer fans, all of the the activists. Yeah, the that that is the mistake um, that the right did in the conservatives did in France. They thought that they were uniting the country by having a right and left march together. That lasted three weeks at the end of November and the first week of December. And then it, the left took it over. They, they literally just took it the hell over. Uh, and the reason is you can never, ever, 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 ever unite with the leftists. Ever. All right? Uh, they're a satanic organization, uh, Lucifer to the core. Yeah, they're, they're, they're Sabbateans. They um, they want to see the destruction of the world. That's their whole purpose. So, so 
for people who have conservative values, they will trick and lie. It's part of their deception plan. That's why I said whenever you hear a Democrat or somebody from the Labor Party or what uh, speak of something, always realize they're being deceptive. They are never, ever telling you the truth, ever. Not a single time, okay? So, and once you start realizing that and you start seeing the end result of it, then you will know you are on the right track, okay? You will know you are on the right track. All right, so <laughs> I have a couple things uh, that uh, I, I want to talk about, and eventually I'm going to get back onto doing OBS again. Remember, I had a three-month suspension from doing live stream, but that doesn't mean I have a three-month suspension from actually doing OBS type of um, type of videos and then I can just upload them okay I just have to be very careful I can't be loading other people's material and and uh, music or why not and uh, even then you're gonna get still people that want to demonetize you because you are speaking the truth okay whenever you speak the truth about what's going on because the media especially social media, is run by leftist globalists. They do not want anyone else to know about it. But because you're not doing anything really, really bad, they don't eliminate your material. I mean, I see people up that I'm not going to use their name because I don't want them to ever be doxxed. Um, but they still are, are able to produce their material. They're just not getting paid for it, okay? Um, yeah, we're always going to spit the truth. We're not going to. Uh, we're not going to allow the leftist media to try to control what we say and how we say it. Okay, that is called police state action. That is communism. That is exactly where these leftists have gone, and we're not going to allow that. Okay. Everything they do is deceptive, okay? But as America turns, people, please understand, that's why the world is watching what is going on with Donald Trump. The world is watching. Not because they hate Trump. They don't hate Trump. I know many, many Europeans that like Trump. Man, the reason is they understand what he's doing. They understand the fight that he's up against. And it's not just for America, but for the entire world, okay? So... He has actually looked more favorably upon than the media would have you believe. Okay? All right. I am at work. Today was a cameraless day. I did not have a, the camera on. Um, that way, my focus was 100% on the, the road as opposed to looking at the camera at all to make sure that you guys were seeing me. So today was more like what you would hear if you would listen to my podcast, okay? And eventually I will be putting up some of my podcasts on here because uh, I, I would like to promote my podcast and have people listen to it. Alrighty. Um, peace out, and I will talk to you guys later.